Okay, hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, a situation, I don't know if I want to call it a situation. <laughs> a conversation came up recently about how to use rsync to upload files to SourceForge. So I thought I would do a video showing how it's done. Um, if I, if I personally, I don't know if, if it's my slow internet or what, but when I try to use the web-based file upload that SourceForge provides, and I would try to upload an ISO, it would always fail. I mean, there were times it would get to like 98% finished and fail. As far as, you know, just text files, stuff like that, something real small, it, it works fine, but I'm, I'm not able to use the web interface to upload to SourceForge or to OSDN. So I'm going to show how to use rsync if this interests you. I'm going to show how to use rsync to upload a, a file, whether it's just a text file. I'm going to use a text file as an example, but I mean, it works for any file, ISOs, whatever. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got the instructions, and I'm going to actually upload these instructions to SourceForge, and I'm going to upload them as an example to OSDN with FileZilla, because I was going to show how to do that also. All right. I'm not going to go over this word for word, because the instructions are going to be there for you to download so don't worry about having to write anything down you don't have to worry about that first and foremost you need to make sure that you have rsync and open ssh client installed on your system on the system you're going to be uploading from okay so just make sure you have rsync and open ssh client and uh, you need to find out, <clears throat> here's the actual command. This is all one command. Now, everything that I have in capital letters, you're going to have to change to your own information. Okay? This part right here will always stay the same in that command. rsync dash av capital P dash e s s h then your file name this is the file that you're wanting to upload then your username at sourceforge for example my username at sourceforge is meolinux all right this will always be the same All of that right there will always be the same, no matter what. And then your project Unix name. If you're not sure how to find, uh, how to, if you're not sure what your Unix name is, uh, <clears throat> sign into SourceForge, click on the admin option, click metadata that'll be on the left and your unix name will be under unix name okay so that's what will go there your project unix name and the path to your folder at sourceforge that you want to put it in it might be a folder with a subfolder you know you have to you have to give the full pathway to the actual folder that you want to put that uh, file in. All right. So what we what we want to do? We want to open our file manager to upload this file to uh, SourceForge. I'm going to go into Documents because that's where the file is located. You know, whatever folder your ISO or whatever is located in. Just open that folder up and open a terminal in that folder. I'm 
let me move this up a little bit. And I'm going to paste in. I've already got this. Uh, I've already got this set up. I'll go over this. This is what I'm going to paste into the terminal. rsync av capital P e s s h. This is the name of the file that I'm going to be uploading. RSync directions. You can see it right here. That's the name of the file. RSync directions MD. There's my username at frs.sourceforge.net home frs project and that's my Unix name, and this is the folder that I want to upload that to. Okay, phew. <laughs> so let me copy this command, and I will paste it in my terminal. Okay. Now, let me increase my terminal. Always have trouble remembering how to do this. Hooray! <laughs> I did it! Okay, now notice I didn't use sudo or su. You just run this as a regular user. So I'm going to hit enter. And now you get this the first time you run this on a system it's going to ask you this. The authenticity of SourceForge can't be established. The f uh, fingerprint key, blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? And of course I do, so I'm going to type yes. Let me get these other items out of the way so it'll be easier to see. Okay, typed yes. Now it asks for a password, and this is your password at SourceForge, not your operating system password. Okay, so type in your password for SourceForge. And hit enter. And it's already finished. Now, it might take a little while for it to show up on SourceForge, so while that's getting established, I'm going to show how to upload uh, a file to <clears throat> uh, OSDN. I'm sorry, I can't think. OSDN with FileZilla. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm already signed in on, OS, on OSDN, and I just... I'm going to find somewhere. I'll put it in my Devlin versions. Now, I am going to warn you, after I upload this to OSDN, I'm actually going to delete it because it doesn't really need to be there. I'm just doing this as an example to show how this works. All right, this is where I'm going to upload it to, my Devlin versions. All right. So I'm going to come over here on edit, add, you know, edit, release, add, or delete files. Click that. Scroll down here. Use FTP upload. All right. Let's see. Check. I think that's what, yeah, here we go. All right, here's all the information you need as far as what OSDN requires. You're going to sign in with the username anonymous. There will be no password. This will be the directory to save it in. Okay? So let me open FileZilla.
Okay, back again. Sorry about that. FileZilla froze up on me, so I had to kill it and start it over again. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully that won't happen to you. <laughs> what you need is the server, which will be osdn.net. Uh, the username will be anonymous. That'll be the actual username. And there is no password. And you will need this number right here. Okay? So, osdn.net and anonymous. osdn.net. Username is anonymous. And there is no password, so we click on Quick Connect. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right. Now let's go to let's go to the folder that I want, which is documents. Oop, I hit downloads documents and I'm going to do this one. Now I need to get that number, so let me get that number real quick for the remote site. Just double click right there, <clears throat> copy it, paste it in there, and hit enter. All right, and now we want to double click on the file, whether it's an ISO file or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to double click that and it's now transferring and it's finished. Okay, so that's all there is to that except one very important thing you need to do now. And by the way, um, if you're uploading, here it gives you a, a time frame when it will run out. If you haven't finished uploading by that time frame, what you can do is come right here and just click on that again. Click on that and it'll give you more time. All right. Now we need to update the FTP file list because even though FileZilla is finished, it's not showing here. So update FTP file list. And there's my file. And we're going to move it up here. Okay. Use on this release. That's the last thing you need to do. Otherwise, if you don't, it'll never show up up here. Okay. Use on this release. Please wait a while. And let's see if it's up there now. And there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. <laughs> All right. Now let's see if our file has ever shown up on. Surely it's shown up by now. Sometimes it might take me like 10 minutes. It's still not showing up. So let's go up to a home folder here. Go back to files just to see if it has shown up yet. All right, there it is. It's not actually showing anything yet. Now the reason I make my files like a readme file with an MD on the end dot md is because you can actually put clickable links uh, on that text file and if it was to show up down here people could actually click on something all right but you see it's it's on here now I hope that all made some sense I know I'm not the best teacher in the world and at least I'm really bad at it too so that's <laughs> something to think about <laughs>
<laughs> All right. You guys have a great day and take care. Thanks a lot.